Hi fellow Webflowers! So you want to create a multi-step form for your Webflow website without the need for external scripts and tools like this? Great! Because then you have come to the right place. In this video I will show you how to create your own multi-step form with ChatGPT. You can find the link to the clonable, including the script, in the description. And if you want my prompt, leave a comment below the video and write prompt in it. So at first I will guide you through my Webflow build so you can understand the fundamentals of a multi-step form. Then we will slide into the prompts and add the functionality step by step. But let's get started. So to understand how multi-step form works, let's have a look at its basic structure. We have this form block here and there another div with the class form and of course the standard success message and error message. When you open the form here, you can see that we have the following elements in there. A form step wrap, a message wrap and a progress wrap. In the form step wrap, you finally find the four form steps. The content you can actually see here. This one with choose a service is the first step with a group of radio buttons this is the second one with just two select fields or aka drop downs. Um, and the third one is actually another group of radio buttons. And finally, the last one with a text area. In the message wrap, I just have a div with the class H5 and message. And I use this to display please fill out all required fields in case somebody wants uh, to go to the next step without any choice. And the last element is this progress comp. And here you will find this text, the progress bar, these two navigation arrows, and currently um, the hidden Webflow submit button. Oh, and by the way, if you want to become a top-notch Webflow developer, then you should subscribe to my channel. I frequently release videos like this to provide you with all the tips and tricks I've learned over the past 10 years. You're lucky. You can take the shortcut just by clicking on the subscribe button below. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> but let's dive into ChatGPT. I have three rules of thumbs for you when it comes uh, to prompting. Um, at first, always use the newest version of ChatGPT. In this case, mm. I couldn't get the script uh, for the form running with the current free version 3.5, but with 4.0, it was actually pretty easy. So it's worth paying for it. And second, you need to describe the context to ChatGPT as good as possible. With the newest version, this becomes easier as you can provide ChatGPT with a link to your multi-step form. And third, the creation of a multi-step form involves several steps. If this is the case, don't expect to write one single prompt and immediately get the perfect result. Instead, divide your project into smaller steps and work your way forward slowly. And this is what we are doing now. At first, we will make sure that we only see one step at the fo from the form at the time and can navigate between these steps with these navigation buttons. When this works, we will take care about a little script called nice select. I've used it for these two select fields so they don't have this boring default styling of your browser. And after this, we will ensure that the next button is only clickable uh, when the required fields are filled out and display an error message if not. And with the last prompt, we will hide the navigation and display the submit button instead and also take care about the animation of the progress bar. Ready? Then let's go. So here we are in ChatGPT and again, 
I really recommend to use the newest version of it, um, GPT 4.0 instead 4 or 3.5. I know you have to pay like 20 bucks for it a month, but it's really worth it because trying to set it up with 3.5 took me like over two hours and I didn't get any results. And with 4.0, um, it worked like, just worked like charm. So um, I really recommend it. Here's my first prompt. It is, can you pro provide a JavaScript uh, for Webflow multi-strap form with the following features? First, multiple form steps are contained in elements with the class form step. And only one step should be visible at a time. And navigation buttons with the class is next and is pref. Um, yeah, I use them to uh, move between the steps. Let's have a look at uh, Webflow. You can see here again, these are the form step classes that I'm uh, referring here to. So let's use that prompt. So our prompt is ready. Now I'm going to copy this one and Let's jump over to Webflow. Let's go here to our page settings. And as you can see here, I already have this uh, CSS file of this nice select uh, script in here. And as well uh, here, the script to the nice select. And um, here's already my working version of the entire script. So let's delete it. That's the first step. Let's save it and publish. And if we now go here to our page and refresh, you will see one thing, my spacing here disappeared, but um, I only see one step at a time instead of all. And I can use these buttons to navigate between um, the different steps. So in ChatGPT, um, here it's setting the steps to display block and actually I wanted uh, to set the steps to display flex. So let's just telling it to use display flex instead uh, just for the future. But let's go to our second prompt. So here's our second prompt and actually I'm telling it to extend the script and use, use this a uh, nice select and to destroy it every time we are um, getting to a new step and reinitializing it. Um, I found out that this is necessary, otherwise um, the select uh, won't work as expected and you will see the ugly default styling of your browser. So let's copy this over. So it's done, great. Let's copy it and go back to our Webflow. And I'm going to delete the old script here and just uh, paste the new one and publish it. Great, let's go back to our site and refresh it. You can see the spacing is fixed and if I'm now going to the second step, you can see I have this beautiful drop down instead of the ugly styling. So let's go to our third prompt. So the third prompt is a little bit longer. And yeah, again, I'm asking it to extend the script with the following. And what I want to do is I um, want to add a validation to all the form fields. So what I actually want is um, if I refresh, I, if the user doesn't make a choice here on this radio buttons, I don't want it to be possible to go here to the next step. Instead, I want to um, show an error message uh, so the user knows, oh, okay, I have to select something. And once he selected something, he can go to the next step. If he doesn't select something here, um, the same error message the same behavior here and yeah this field is not required and 
let's build that. So the third prompt, it says, check the required fields and it should go through the required fields and um, also watch out for this radio button groups because in the radio button groups, all radio buttons are actually required, but it's enough if um, one radio button is um, uh, checked. It doesn't work to check all three. So let's copy this prompt. And one thing is special on this prompt. Here is the link to the form for your reference. You know, that's the advantage of 4.0. It makes it much easier um, if uh, ChatGPT can crawl the page and get uh, the best possible context for it. Let's go back to ChatGPT. Paste our prompt here. And let's copy the code. Let's go back to Webflow and replace our script here. Let's see if it's working. So I refresh and now when I click here, uh, you can see it works. I get this error message. And now when I choose something, I can go to the next step. If I only choose one here, I get the error message. If I choose all, both, I can go here, same here. And this one is not required. So let's have a look at our fourth and last uh, prompt. Yeah, and this one, this one's actually pretty easy. It's just two, th two things we want to do here. At first, um, we want to hide um, this navigation buttons and instead um, show this submit button. And the second thing is, that um, this progress bar inner is default is 25% um, width. I want to increase it each time the user um, gets to the next step by 25%. So uh, on the last step, it should be um, have a width of 100%. Go to ChatGPT and paste it in. So let's copy the code and let's go over to Webflow. Here we go. Let's replace our current script. Save and publish. So let's go to our form and test it. And oh, I can see the first thing, something is broken here. Let's check chat GPT and uh, yeah, I already found it. It is setting uh, the styling of the button to inline block. Yeah, stuff like this, you have to be a little bit careful because it doesn't know that you are using flex on it. And so it's just using block or inline block or some, something like this. And uh, um, yeah, it can break a little bit your layout. So look out for stuff like this. Um, I go to the script directly in here. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, let's change it to flex and save it and publish it. Oh, let's refresh. And now you can see this button is fixed. Let's try one more time. I click. Okay, it doesn't work. This works. And let's choose something here. You can also see the progress bar is working. It's now on 50% and it's also beautiful animating. Let's make a choice here. And now you can see, okay, one more bug. <laughs> it um, actually shows the submit button instead of the next button. I think I also know what the problem is. Um, let's copy this class because it's, uh, yeah, it's replacing the wrong thing and uh, tell him. Let's copy this or let's mark this and make reply. So instead of the next button, I want to hide its parent with the class uh, progress nav. That actually should do the work. So let's copy the code. 
take this away and let's go back to ChatGPT uh, to to our Webflow website and let's replace our script here. Let's save and have another look. So here we go. Let's refresh. This one is working. This one is working. Also, the error message is working. This one works. And here you can see we have a submit button and this is not required. And I click on submit. Please wait. And as you can see, our form is working. And if you want to know how to send automated emails to multiple uh, recipients of a form, you should watch this video next. In any other case, stay in the flow.